As of yesterday morning, Riga, Latvia was attacked by Russian troops. They have burned down most of the town and terrified all the citizens. We have reporters in Riga accounting for all the details, but for now, we have a local Latvian and former Russian, Olga Yegoshavakhi. It's okay, you were close, you tried. So, Olga, it says you're a former Russian who moved to Latvia. Why did you move? You know, I moved to Latvia because Russia is like the Titanic. You know, it's always people falling into the ice cold water, except the ice cold water is just really Russia. And you know, we always say, no, 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 don't go in the iceberg. And then Russia goes straight into the iceberg, always. So I moved to Latvia to get away from Russia, but now look at me, I'm covered in Russians. So you moved to Latvia to get away from Russians? Yes, and the weather is wonderful. So what were your thoughts on the attack that happened yesterday? What was your reaction? Well, I wake up yesterday morning to go on my daily morning jog, you know, get the blood pumping, the boys looking. And the next thing you know, I see things in the sky and they think, oh, it's just nothing. It's just a little black cloud. And guess what? It's Russians floating down from the sky. Who knew Russians could fly? I mean, I guess you have, you know, if you can get soldiers to fly, it's a balancing act. You know, soldiers fly, economy falls. I don't know, something like that. But they gather us into the square. And they start burning down things, shooting people, hurting things, you know, just regular Russian stuff. Were you scared? Scared, ha! I saw my family get mauled by a pack of bears when I was young. I was not scared. But, you know, I mean, it was just a normal Saturday back home, if you ask me. Oh, well, what did you think of the president's decision to let Latvia become a part of Russia? Decision? Ha! That's hilarious. There was no decision. It is really as you either die or you become a Russian. Personally, I think he made the wrong decision. Well, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, La Olga Yek 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 for giving us an insight into the horrors of what happened in Latvia yesterday morning. Thank you.